Alright, welcome back. So let's go ahead and make some ordered pairs out of the information on our graph. This time we do have decimals as part of our y value. So we're going to have to go a half point <clears throat> whenever we graph. And it's just an observation that I'm making by making my ordered pairs. And then um, if our uh, pattern is y equals x plus blank, what um, what does it look like? We are adding 2x each time to get our y. So let's use this to figure out our last, um, last piece of information here. So um, y is equal to 5 plus blank. All right, on all the rest of these, it looks like 2 plus blank equaled 2 and 5 tenths or 3 plus blank equals 3 and 5 tenths. So um, first off, let's figure out what can we add to 2 to get 2 and 5 tenths? What can we add to 3 to get 3 and 5 tenths? Yeah, if you said 5 tenths, yeah, 2 plus 5 tenths is 2 and 5 tenths. 3 plus 5 tenths is 3 and 5 tenths. So by this pattern, it looks like we're adding 5 tenths to all of our x values. So that would make our y value for 5, 5 and 5 tenths. By adding 5 tenths, just like this, we're using the formula, and we got our answer. y is equal to 5 plus 5 tenths, because y is equal to our x value plus 5 tenths. So now let's go ahead and um, graph all of our points. Our first one is 2 and 2 and 5 tenths. So we're going to run 2, and we're going to jump 2 and a half. Our second one is 3 and 3 and 5 tenths, so we're going to run 3 and jump 3 and a half, halfway between 3 and 4. The next one is 4 and 4 and 5 tenths, so we're going to run 4 and we're going to jump 4 and a half, halfway between 4 and 5 on our y value. And then finally, our last uh, ordered pair is 5 and 5 and a half, so we're going to run 5 and jump 5 and a half. As you can see, that does make a straight line, so it is following our pattern. And our pattern is y is equal to x plus 5 tenths. Because every time we added 5 tenths to our x value, we got our y value. So this is a complete data table with an additive pattern. And we plotted all of that information in the first quadrant of the coordinate plane. So um, that's exactly what we needed to do today is generate a numerical pattern when given a rule. We made a pattern with these dots when we were given the rule y equals x plus 5 tenths. So we've successfully done our goal for the day. Um, and tomorrow, or later this week, we'll be looking at multiplicative numerical patterns as well. So today is additive patterns for adding. This is what an additive pattern looks like on a graph. Um, and then you just use your table to help you find that pattern y equals x plus five tenths. All right, so we're going to do this more, um, keep practicing, and you'll see this for years and years. So this is just the beginning. Um, great job, and I'll see you later. Bye!